Okay guys, I'm back in Watering Waves And I'm going to play at 7 There's a new story here <coughs> Since there's another story Yeah, we'll just play how Hopefully it's not I think it's long, I heard it's 3 hours But uh, we'll see, okay So from X6 we finished the dreamless boss and then we see a new like a paimon kinda <laughs> and now we'll continue from there I guess so let's go here <clears throat> and there's not much lag this time because I moved my game to my SSD so it's much smoother and loads faster I think, yep. Yeah. That's faster, okay. Uh, so let's play X7. She's Yan Yang Yang, alright. <laughs> Over here, been waiting for you. I thought Yang Yang said you had a super cool little buddy to show us. Where is it? Yeah, where is it? Where is that? Uh, uh, I don't know. Damn, you got voice, man. Oh shit! Oh, there he is. Right. Our hmm. Paimon watering Did wave version. Pop out of your tacit mark? Mm, smells good. So. Is this how it first showed up when you guys were in the Norfolk Barrens? Yeah, back then we... As I fought off those tacit discords, a burst of energy erupted from that statue. Two forces clashed and collided, and later, one of them emerged victorious, vanquishing the other in a violent clash. General Jian and Rover later told me it was this little thing coming out of Rover's body. <laughs> Blocking or even consuming the overflow of Thrinodian power. It reminded me of how Rover once absorbed frequency energy this with his body in a similar doing. fashion. So we took him to the academy for a checkup with Baiji. Apparently, this little one is what we had detected before. It's a speculated space or organism hidden inside your body. Now we finally know it shares similar frequencies hmm. with tacit discords <clears throat> reverberations. It resembles an echo processed by the data bank it resembles an stored echo. inside your body instead of a terminal. In other words, it's your own echo, captured or absorbed at some point. Without you, it can't manifest. That's why Baiju couldn't confirm just how you absorbed that echo back then. Was it you? Was it the little one? Oh. Or maybe the two of you together? And Baija discovered more after analyzing your spectrum. She found a new power source within you. Similar to the crownless, but even stronger. This power comes from the tacit discord you defeated in Norfolk Barrens. So, the excess energy this little thing had consumed somehow ended up in your body, available at your disposal. In other words, there's a deeper connection between the two of you. Or, according to Baiju, it's a convergent codependency. What does that mean? Uh, to put it simply, you are connected. While you are two separate individuals, your energies and vitals can affect each other. So we have the same... For better or for worse, you may even feel each other's emotions. So basically this creature is also me. <laughs> the bond between you and this creature is symbiotic. As it strengthens, so do you. Oh shit. However, if one is harmed, the other suffers. Fortunately, since it can't ever leave your side, it's not an easy target for attackers. And if they do strike, it can seek shelter inside your body for safety. Okay. Now that's <clears throat> pretty much it. 
Spider was going to explain it to you, a <laughs> but she has to go check on a newly appeared Sonora Sphere in Zhao Zhou. Wait, 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 mm. this is too much information for me. Yeah, this is, yeah, this is literally fine one. So, it helped Rover fight off the Thrinodian? Mm. Seriously? Mm. This teeny tiny thing could do that? <laughs> <laughs> Seems unlikely. <laughs> it does speak to me. What's its name? Hmm. Don't look down Little on one. Me. <laughs> You'll regret it when you learn what I'm capable of. That poker face researcher was absolutely shocked when she examined me. <laughs> Said I'm not just any echo. I'm a super duper cool one. Rarest of them all. <laughs> While those aren't Baijer's exact words, that is what she meant. She mentioned highly intelligent echoes that can act on their own in other countries. <clears throat> Said they are involved in every aspect okay, so of so human they are life, but he knew echoes that can beyond our imagination. Intelligent. Those echoes are rare, though. Neither I nor Baijer, an eco-acoustics expert, have ever seen one in person. <laughs> But this little thing here, it could be one of those foreign echoes. Yeah, makes sense. Now we just gotta figure out where it came from. Who knows? We may find other cool echoes in that place. So, do you know where exactly he absorbed you? Huh? How am I supposed to know? Why don't think, just ask him? I don't think we know either. Why does why does this voice sound familiar? Uh they know I don't remember she can ask. Test test. Don't take that tone with me. But even if echoes can have memories, they probably wouldn't remember things earlier than their first manifestation. Hmm. I need to listen again. They wonder sound if that's the case the creature with this sounds familiar. <laughs> Aha! Finally! Someone with common sense! That green-haired, serious guy asked me a similar question! Sorry to disappoint, but I really don't remember anything before I showed up. Hmm... Maybe... Maybe I was just <clears throat> sleeping inside him this whole time! So of course I don't remember. Sleeping? Seriously? It's been so long! All those happenings, all that fighting, and you didn't hear anything? Well, that's... Your sleeping quality is really something. I prefer to not stay awake all the time. That thinks I don't want it to hear. <laughs> uh, so you've got privacy to be respected. <laughs> don't worry. Your body sound insulation is amazing. You can dive into it. And everything goes quiet. The only problem is, I never know when I'll wake up again. And when I do wake up, I get tired, and hungry, fast. So I have to crawl back in for more rest. Oh. I know. It's all because I'm not eating enough. That's why you kept disappearing. Yes, you're eating again. It's he always went back to the sleep eating from thing. lack of energy. Just like my mom. <laughs> Makes sense. Regular echoes need to be powered by the terminal, too. Hmm, I thought you'd be really different from the usual ones we see. Turns out you share a lot in common, so you probably don't know your denomination or nickname. No wonder everyone's the been calling one. you the little one. Denomination? What's that? The universally agreed terms for special echoes, like names for humans. They're named based on their characteristics, abilities, and places of origin. My denomination. It's. What kind are you? It's. Mm, I don't know. Do I not have a name at all? What? No way. No way. That's not fair. If all the special echoes have names, how can I not have one? 
I don't want to be called the little one all the time. <laughs> it doesn't sound cool at all. <clears throat> How about this? You have a choice. You to me come up it. with a name, oh. and I will let you have some of the Bing. food. I think there'll be options or something. Uh, there's nothing left. <laughs> you ate it all. Come on. Uh, next time, next time, I'll definitely say some for you. Just uh, just give me a name, please. A name? Now? Did we get the pick? Yes, I want it now. Look, your name's Chisha. Your name's Yang Yang, and you, uh, your name is. That sounds interesting. Wait, didn't you forget everything? How do you still remember? Oh, that's <laughs> interesting. I just came up with it. It's my new name. With your old name and memories all gone, it's a good idea to go with a new one. It makes everything more convenient and represents a fresh start. Yeah! Exactly like she said. Every one of you has a name, and I want one for myself too. I'm really not asking much. I just want a name that sounds a little cool. A little special. <coughs> I don't think we get the big for this. <laughs> uh, you have your nation made this easy. That's true. Let's see. You want a cool one. Echo the Invincible. What about Echo the Invincible? So you want, oh, what do you say? You want it to be called Echo. Nah. No, uh absolutely <laughs> no. That's too straightforward. It's it's no better than calling me the little one. Hey, it makes every difference in the world. The voice acting. I no, am no, Echo the Invincible. Better, no. That's what a hero play character would say as their transformation call. Mm. Or uh, or maybe since you can fly and you got those long ears, why don't you call yourself a uh, righteous raptor? It's or not a raptor. Valorhawk. It's not a hawk. <laughs> Flying Fury? Mm, I don't know. No. Absolutely <laughs> cringy. no. Why do they all sound so ugh, cringy? It's not even the same animal. Come on. Why? I love it when people call me the Jinjo Speedster. Doesn't that sound awesome? Huh? <laughs> sure, if you say so. Anyway. They all sound like anything but my name. <laughs> Absolutely no. So, did we get to pick? Or... Let's make it simple. Why don't we just call yourself Abby? Oh, okay. Aha! I knew Rover would come up with a good... Wait. Oh, what did that name come so from? Random? You didn't just pick two random syllables, did you? <laughs> uh, why not simplicity works? Sure. I even have a student name, Abby. Come on. So, <laughs> is it because I've been saying absolutely no a lot? Uh. Absolutely no. Is it? Is it a Chinese thing? I think. Oh. Um, we should go with a better one. Isn't that a nice name? Yeah. Why is it suddenly so quiet? Oh, what the hell? Is the voice is not happy with the name? Why though? Can't think of anything better that's catchy, impactful, and clever all at once. Uh, Abby. Abra. Abra's a Pokemon. Well, it's also a magic uh, word. What's wrong? What are you muttering about? Trying to change the Abra? name, I guess. What? Sounds like you're reading a spell. Uh, I don't know, but I just have this feeling that this is what my name should be. Okay, ready? Abby. I like the sound of that. <laughs> That's my name. Okay, sure. That was the, yeah. Good. <laughs> of course I like it. You came up with it for me. I was just trying to get used to it. Okay, That's Abby it. then. Besides, I feel attached to this name now. <laughs> My name is Abby. You will not call me the little one again. So no more little one. Sure, we won't. Got <laughs> it. Well, that didn't work out. I was hoping we could get some answers from the little... I mean, from Abby. But now we're back at square one. I really thought we could figure out where Abby came from. <clears throat> it might not lead us to other special echoes, but it's at least a starting point to uncover Rover's past. 
Then we'll have something to do before asking Madame Magistrate and our Sentinel about it again. Maybe we can start with Abby's special abilities instead. Special abilities? Oh yeah. Each special echo has a unique ability. We can compare what Abby does with our records of other echoes to see where they came from. Hmm. Besides, it was Abby's power that helped Rover defeat the Threnodian, I suppose. Interesting, yeah. Why do you sound so unsure? Didn't you see it all with your own eyes? It didn't always work, it just happened on the boss. Too fast, I didn't get a clear look. I'd be more sure if we see it again. Hmm. Abby, can you show us again? I'm super curious how you did that. Who knows? We might learn something. Well, since you asked, I'll show you how it's done. <laughs> Alright. But this place is too crowded. Let's move to that open spot over there. <laughs> what? What? What's going on? I'll try again. Just you see. It's not working. <laughs> oh, there's some light there. Um, I guess it doesn't work when there's no uh, monsters. What? Did something happen? Uh, just, just a little slip. That's all. I can do it. You gotta trust me. Sure. Back then, I just stood in front of him, and that big bad Threnodian monster thing just, just what? So you didn't really do anything. Huh? No, I... I definitely did something. <laughs> like I said, I was asleep. And then all of a sudden, I smelled I something on command. really yummy. Coming closer and closer. Uh, it was like nothing I ever smelled before. So it was food that <laughs> made you motivated to absorb. Whatever. I didn't have time to think. I just had to show up and reach out for it. So maybe Abby's yeah. power activates automatically under certain circumstances. Perhaps Abby can't control it yet. Yeah, it looks that way. You can't even hold your shape for very long yet. Hey, hey, hey. stop <laughs> looking down on me. Like I said, it was just a little slip. Really. But I think about it. I just stood there and did nothing and ended up beating a Threnodian. Imagine what I could do if I actually <laughs> tried. Hey, right. Rover, get behind me next time we run into anything, okay? I'll keep it safe. Promise. You're so real for that, Abby. <laughs> you bet. I said I'm super strong. I'll protect him. That's very reassuring to hear, but... We're stuck again. I can't think of anything else to check out. Figure out my passwords, yeah. Where did you absorb Abby? What are Abby's powers? And what exactly do, do happened we even absorb or did we just come with There's Abby so already? There's so many questions we can't figure <laughs> out yet. Our Sentinel Joy can look into the future. <coughs> Nothing Are we gonna meet Jewel from its in, in this story? It has already sort of guided you to the Norfolk Barons through Madame Magistrate's messages, right? Might be. Now that the Threnodian crisis is over, perhaps you can consult our Magistrate and our Sentinel again. I'm sure they can offer you so some to find useful guidance. So and Jewel. Relax, relax. You have me now, remember? Meeting up with that Jinshi person, getting her memories <coughs> back. I've got you. Speaking of that, so this Sentinel can predict the future? That sounds cool. The name Jue sounds pretty cool too. <laughs> it's almost as cool as mine. What does it look like? Where is it? Since we're paying it a visit, this Sentinel should treat us with food, right? Mm. 
I wonder how the food's gonna taste. Our sentinel protects every one of us. Of course it's cool. But why are you talking about food again? Didn't you just stuff your face? What? Is your stomach a black hole? I can't help it. I'm always Why always starving? these small floaty characters are always the hungry ones? <laughs> okay, seven days later. All right. Homer, did you hear that? My stomach is growling. Finally, oh, level forty-five. So how about we go to that place we went to last time? Oh Ujanya boy. Abby's our Paimon now. So much. <laughs> Abby's our Paimon now. It's the, the, the chatter in our quest. Okay, wait. I want to claim my. Yeah, I've got to this. And I got 45. Let's go. 1000. Let's go. And don't I get. I guess that's it. Man. All right. Um, let me just claim the other stuff as well. Wow, so smooth, eh? I'm glad I switched to SSD. <laughs> um, store. Okay, wishing thing I'll do next time. No rush. <laughs> we'll focus on the story for now. Maybe. Uh. I don't want to use Yang Yang and Chi I don't. I didn't level them up much, mm, so yummy, yummy. let it be <laughs> for now. <clears throat> uh, hello, are you with me? You seem a bit distracted. With so much delicious food right in front of you, aren't you gonna try any? Well, if you're not interested, I'll gobble it all up. <laughs> You've been absent-minded the whole day. Still bothered by that dream from last night? Wait, so you had a dream about the sentinel? Oh, Like wow. the one from your flashback when we saw the sentinel statue after you lost your memory? I saw more. <laughs> Hang on, so let me get this straight. The sentinel swooshed you off to a mountain shaped like a dragon. And then there were all these bad things going on with lots and lots of tacit discords. But the sentinel saved the day. How exactly did it protect everyone again? Oh, in your dream it made the time different there. It made the time different. Yeah. The time in the mountains seemed Small to voice. slow down from the outside. <clears throat> away from the tacit discords. The sentinel must have created a barrier by manipulating the flow of time, keeping those monsters out. It was a safe haven from all the disturbances caused by the tacit discords. Where people lived peacefully. Also, in my dream, I wasn't affected by the slow time and could freely move in and out of the barrier. It's hmm. no shock that you have awesome powers, being friends with me. Uh, what was that place you dreamed about called? Mom from women? I'm not entirely sure I heard it correctly. Yeah. But in my dream, the Sentinel mentioned a place called. Mount Firmament. That's the new area. Mount Firmament? Never heard of it. You've never heard of Mount Firmament? And I'm sure you're not from around here. Huh? Hold on! Did you just say Mount Firmament? Oh my! Did that echo just talk? Didn't you just hear we were talking all this time? Seriously? <laughs> it's a good friend of mine. Come on, man, relax. You don't hear an echo talking every day, yeah. but it's not that uncommon either. I heard there's a country called Re uh, Rhinus. Oh, what? what? Anyway, Rhinus. the echoes there are next level. Oh, you're not from around here? <laughs> well, that explains why you don't know about Mount Firmament. Legends say. Mount Firmament is where the first people of Jinjo live. It looks like a giant statue of our sentinel Zhuang. I guess Zhuang is there. I've never actually heard of anyone going to that place. 
They say those who try either get lost in the sea mist or never come back. If you're curious, just head southeast. Mount Firmament is on the east side of Whining Ix's Mire. And you can see it from a distance. The southeast. The past few days, especially this morning, I caught this unique smell from the southeast. From that mountain they just mentioned. It's like a strong energy pulsing through the air. I can't quite put my finger on it. Hmm. It feels kind of weird, though. Doesn't smell natural. Could it have anything to do with what you said? A place where time passes slowly? Hmm. Do you want to go check it out? Yeah. I had a flashback about seeing their sentinel. Perhaps that happened on Mount Firmament. I can feel an unknown force guiding me. Urging me to go there and find something. Something is making us go there. Because it's the story. It's the new Jackie series. <laughs> said she'll go search for the Sentinel and update me on <coughs> whereabouts. But so far, I've not heard anything from the City Hall yet. Hmm. Then shall we go check it out together? It feels really suspicious. Yeah, I can see. Okay, here we go, X7. I don't think even Genshin reaches I7. Abby, are you getting sleepy again? <laughs> right? Let me uh, take a quick nap, alright? I've got keen ears. If anything goes down, just give me a holler and I'll, I'll be. The two guys are here. I'll be <laughs> up in a jiffy, I swear. Wow, so smooth. There's no lag. <laughs> Can we just teleport there? Um, can we just teleport to the Grand Library? <clears throat> okay, yeah, this saves out so much time waiting. <clears throat> is literally our Paimon now. <laughs> Talks as much as Paimon. I guess. Greetings, Rover. What can I help you with today? Uh, yeah. I regret to inform you that Madame Magistrate Still? is not in the city oh. hall. She has left from Mount Firmament. In fact, we have not heard back from her for days. Oh, uh, something happened? Unfortunately, no. Please keep this confidential. The situation in Jinzhou is still unstable after our battle with the Thronodian. We must limit discussion of the Magistrate's whereabouts to a select few. When we captured Scar, he claimed that the Praxidus had imprisoned our Sentinel. Um, the Praxidus imprisoned Jue? Okay. It was around the same time that Madame Magistrate lost track of Sentinel Jue. So that's why she went there. If our Sentinel is truly in danger, or... If someone with malicious intent obtains this information, mm. the potential consequences could be as catastrophic <clears throat> as the previous okay. Renodian invasion. In order to investigate the Sentinel's whereabouts, Madame Magistrate has left for Mount Firmament, its last recorded location. Yeah, did she bring any bodyguards or anyone with her? Madame Magistrate traveled alone. to Mount Firmament That's alone. Not even Chang Li or something? The looming threat of the Thronodian discouraged any additional diversion of human resources. Furthermore, when it comes to the Sentinel, well, she's strong. I think she's a very strong character. <clears throat> Madam Magistrate trusts you. It is beyond my authorization to meddle in your decisions. However, the landscape around Mount Firmament is complex. Wayfinder. One must be accompanied by a special wayfinder to navigate safely. That's all I know. Currently, she's likely at the ferry terminal in Whining Ix's Mire. 
I'll reach out to her. To learn more about Mount Firmament, you can meet her at the ferry. I lack the same level of understanding of the situation there as she does. I trust Madam Magistrate's decisions. I will do my utmost to handle the public matters on her behalf while she is away. I just... This worry about her safety won't leave me. In her last video message, I could tell she seemed weaker than usual, despite her efforts to maintain composure. Madam Magistrate's situation might not be optimistic. Rover, Mount Firmament is a dangerous place. Please take care. <clears throat> All right. I've sent the coordinates to your terminal. Thank you for your kind help. I pray you will both return safely. I'm listening. Damn. That's cool. Hey, did you notice how the mountain has a strangely pleasant smell? Hmm. It doesn't look edible, though. Uh, I'm slightly unsure that I can count on you. Uh... Well, of course I'm reliable. Even if I do happen to fall asleep and can't hear you. And don't worry. If there's any danger coming your way, I'll wake up like clockwork. Just like last time. Okay, well, unless there's nothing that can even remotely challenge you. In that case, I probably won't wake up. <sighs> Alright then. <laughs> at least we have like a Let's trump card or something. Uh, leave the city hall. Hmm. Not from it. Our wayfinder should have plenty information to share. <clears throat> nice, the building is so good now. So, to Mount Firmament, head to the ferry. Wait here. Oh shit! All right. I guess this is the nearest one. <clears throat> I was wondering, like, can I unlock the area first before I go to to do, do this quest? But I feel like you can't. There's no. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way to go there, so I guess you have to start the quest. <coughs> oh, this is so good! Yeah, yeah, I never. Going and, and you even tested playing on uh, SSD. <laughs> too bad I can't put Genshin on SSD. Too, too much space. I don't have that swing. much. <laughs> okay, let's try it back on now. Mm, there is a little bit of lag, but it's alright. Maybe I'll finish this guy on the phone. Ouch. Leave it to me. Down with the curtain. Oh. 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 Some reason I feel the best the combat is better. Azor. Azor. Remnants of the past. Oh, this is so good. Cool. All right, here we are. Oh, someone's here. 
Is this Chang Li? She looks like. Are you trapped here by the rain? Oh my god, it's, it is her. She's the wayfinder? I am Chang Oh shit! Wayfinder. Okay. Don't worry, the rain won't last much longer. Our destination lies just beyond it. Mulder, what do you know about Mount Firmament? A certain folk tale. Have you heard of it? While hiking in the mountains, <clears throat> a woodcutter came upon two people playing Weichi and became enthralled with their game. Upon his return, God, home, it looks like he found the world transformed. Everything was different, as if in a new reality. That mountain was a secret realm where time worked differently hmm. the woodcutter only spent half a day inside but outside a century so time passed, passed differently mount firmament is such a place but unlike this folk tale there is a price to pay for entering and exiting its grounds if i spend a full day in the mountains Ten days will be taken oh, off my lifespan upon my leaving, reflecting the actual time that has passed outside. Not to mention, so time passed slow, then? the situation on Mount Firmament right now is probably even more complex than before. The strange time patterns of Mount Firmament are tied to the Sentinel's temporal mandate. Time ebbs and flows at its will. If the Fraxidus really has imprisoned our Sentinel, causing it to lose control of its powers, that could explain the temporal disruptions. Which means Mount Firmament is basically a dead end, with no way out. Lifespan is not the top of my concerns. If you've decided <coughs> to venture there, does it, does, does this mean we can use as your her in as a trial character? Jin Shi has if she's now for like joining the party for too long. She doesn't miss a thing, does she? Before Jin Shi left for Mount Firmament. Scales began appearing on her body, oh. and her resonance ability was weakening. Those signs pointed to a dire situation for the Sentinel as well. That's why I must lead you there. You might have the key to solving our dilemma. Because I invited you. Senhua was instructed to disclose my whereabouts oh, if you ever went to City knew. Hall and asked about Jin Shi. <laughs> you already knew this. It's no surprise that you went to City Hall for answers, considering your memory loss and Jin Shi's prolonged absence. Hmm. I need to tell you the truth. Because you've been the top priority. No, the sole concern of our enemy, the Fraxidus. That overseer tried everything to sway you and make you Stop. join their side before mm -hmm. our battle with the reviving Ternodian. It's a clear sign that your involvement could disrupt their plans, especially at Mount Firmament. Hmm. Records at the Grand Library tell a tale of someone who dared to enter Mount Firmament after the Sentinel's descent. 
and they emerged unscathed, as if time had no hold on them. So, <clears throat> maybe time doesn't affect this, like what we see just now. The sentinel. I have stood alongside. And here before me stands someone who bears an uncanny resemblance to that very individual. Is it you? If not you, who else could it be? It took me some effort to finally reach this conclusion. Rover, the journey ahead is filled with danger at every turn. Once we venture into the mountains, there's no turning back. Let's do it. Are you sure you still want to join me? As your wayfinder, I'll lead you to your destination. What you do after that is entirely up to you. The rain is subsiding, and the sky will soon clear. It's time for us to head out. So the only way to go there is by boat then? Lullaby or something? Are we falling asleep? Oh, you find me here. The base of Mount Firmament, but we won't enter the temporal barrier until we cross the luminous shore. Shall we proceed? The storm is spell? coming. Some people must be itching to pounce. I'm curious about this spell. Is this like a wind chime? Collected using attack. Okay. Oh yeah, it's similar like there's a casket then, All right? What's that? <clears throat> More new stuff. Puzzles or something? Oh, yep. Looks like uh, another, another bell. The bridge has broken. Are we gonna do some puzzle that you first time or something? Judging by its design and intricate details, it must be a creation of the court of Savante. This is what they call a chronos order. It mimics the sentinel's temporal mandate, able yeah, to reverse small-scale events and restore objects okay. to their previous state. My master once told me about the court of Savante and their fearless quest to unravel the mysteries of Mount Firmament, risking all 
in their pursuit of understanding its strange flow of time. Their dedication bore fruit in the form of fascinating inventions, <clears throat> such as this Chronos Order. But it doesn't add up. Why hasn't this brilliant invention spread beyond Mount Firmament? Well, it will affect time everywhere else then. Wouldn't that be a bad thing? This Chronos Order was built beyond the temporal barrier. So, its creator must have already paid the price for leaving. But even if they died, there are countless other CSC members who could replicate it. How did such advanced technology become lost? Or, do these yeah, maybe. Sort of stop functioning once they are removed from Mount Firmament? That makes sense. Just time only affected here. This Chronos Order Weathered though it may appear, there's no signs of neglect. Someone has tended to it diligently. Let's give it a try. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> so, Chronos Order 1. Use it to alter the flow of time. Alright, sure. Move the timeline to the right to fast forward and to the left to rewind time. Okay. Understandable. Didn't I see like the... Uh... Oh, it's right there. Okay. So... Rewind back. Huh? Press A or D. Okay. Ah, that was it. Okay. Yeah, just rewind time. And then it's gone. <laughs> it won't fall down, right? Okay, no, it doesn't. Another bell. And we have a statue, or whatever you call it. This one's already open. Okay. Weren't they concerned about losing lifespan? For those fanatics, nothing mattered more than the truth. To live every moment with overwhelming passion. How many can claim such a tenacious drive and unshakable determination? <clears throat> okay. Rover, it's the Fraxidus. Oh boy. Can you have voices now? The enemies. More voices. Oh, no. I can wait this time. Oh, no, 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 no. <coughs> we don't one shot the enemies with. Eh? It's them again. Unless I'm to not strong enough. <laughs> I'm glad we don't one shot the enemies. I have your arrival. I have a problem, isn't it? There's more here. Oh. Do we need a uh, gun user for this? The entrance is sealed. It's the photon barrier. Another invention from the court of Cervante. Specific steps must be followed to undo the barrier. Rover, I'll guide you. Both range and melee can activate. Okay, so we don't need a gunner. We can use it uh, using melee attacks. The enemies will become active again. Okay. Use long range weapons on the photon vaults to cut off its energy. Do we have to use long range? Is this melee or also can work? Let me try. Yeah. Once we reach the <laughs> cave's end, we'll enter the domain of Mount Firmament. 
Proceed with caution. All right. <clears throat> oh, that's a barrier here. Yeah, I think we can pick that. everyone else <gasps> oh man effect on the strange time pattern time on mount firmament used to simply flow slower than in the outside world visitors were safe as long as they remained within the temporal barrier but what we're seeing now is different the flow of time has gone haywire. This is what we call temporal disruption. So, for some creatures here, the time stops. What was once slow and steady has become frozen. chaotic and turbulent. Oh, okay. Some areas are frozen in time, while others speed up or slow down unpredictably. No one knows how much they'll age after leaving Mount Firmament. But aging from youth to old age may be a blessing compared to the unknown fate that awaits. Leaving Mount Firmament could turn Damn. any mortal to dust in just a moment. Such is the power of time within its walls. These poor creatures, trapped in the temporal disruption, are the most pitiful of all. Their bodies and minds have been ravaged by the chaotic time, leaving them in unimaginable suffering. So, it looks like the Fraxidus did manage to capture our Sentinel, leading yeah, to the ten world okay. disruptions we are facing now. So that's true then. I had wished that my theories would turn out wrong. As expected, my terminal isn't working. We can't reach Jinshi. The temporal disruption is preventing it from functioning. We can't waste a moment. Jinshi's fate isn't the only one at stake. All the inhabitants of Mount Firmament are in danger. We need to hurry to Hongjin, a town nestled at the heart of Mount Firmament. Jinshi would likely pass through there on her search for the Sentinel. <clears throat> Inspect Forever frozen in the instant before the Venus was spot. We have a snow effect. Will this damage us or something? My HP is not going down. Wait. So this net is not open, huh? Alright, so the next one is there. <clears throat> the temporal disruptions have spared nothing on our way here. Chen Li, does that mean you're in danger too? So far, nothing feels out of the ordinary. It seems the Sentinel contained the situation before being fully trapped. But I don't know how long the stability will hold. Alright, yes. If I go down, please, don't worry about me. Nah. <laughs> Skip. It's just opening the map. Okay. Oh, this is the only... Alright, so we basically opened the whole map already. 
Alright then. Uh, people around here, if there is people around here, frozen as well. It's a town, so... This is like Dragon Spine, but instead of freezing, different time flow. Huh. You dreamed of Hongzhen? It sounds like you did dream of this place. What you just described closely aligns with the accounts documented in our grand library. Over a century ago, a vast horde of tacit discords invaded Hong Long. Hong Jin suffered greatly during that onslaught. Thankfully, the Sentinel descended, manipulating time to erect a protective barrier, keeping those monsters at bay. <clears throat> Rover, perhaps that dream is more than just a dream. Is what happened a year ago. It could be a glimpse into your own past, and a guiding light for the future. Oh. Oh boy, the, yeah, the Fraxidas, uh, they can still just go here anytime, with no effect on them. So... Damn. is a pivotal location, linking various parts of Mount Firmament. With the Fraxidus now targeting us, they'll seize any opportunity to intercept our path. But every trap has its weak points. Someone has used their resonance ability here, but it feels different from the Fraxidus aggression. It's Jinshi. Jinshi somewhere here. And it seems like she used it in a dire situation. <clears throat> Could it be related to the people of Hongzhen? The traces lead deeper into the heart of Hongzhen. So we follow Let's that. keep moving. Okay. Don't let your guard down. Then some of the facilities are also here. Oh shit. Someone fought here against those Fraxidus. Must be Jinshi. Her trails led to this location. Using her resonance ability too much would only worsen her condition. But she must have had a reason. Was she helping the people of Hongzhen find refuge? Chen Li, there are traces here. They're pointing north. Let's proceed in that direction. Oh shit. Uh... Synthesis right here? Oh, okay. <laughs> Three photon vaults to break. 
Uh, I have to use a uh, uh, person in the back now. Alright, hold on. Okay. The characters are not that high level yet. <clears throat> oh, you two, halt! A cautious guard. Hold on, Lady Shingi. Shingi. Relax, there are honored guests. No need to be tense. In a single day, we've greeted both the Magistrate of Jinjo and her trusted counselor in Hongzhen. I can only assume ah, something so significant happened. It's been a while, Chen Li. I heard you step down from your position and move to the countryside. And now here we are, meeting again after all this time, in such unfortunate circumstances. For years, I live secluded. No longer concerning myself with the matters beyond Hongzhen. But the current situation in Jinzhou is volatile. It has reunited us in an unpredictable moment. And you, young sir? What shall I call you? Robert. It's the same brother. My name is Xinyi. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Please follow me this way. It's not safe to talk here. Every NPC looks so different. <laughs> we can't really tell if they are really NPCs or not. <laughs> Suddenly playable. <laughs> okay. Now what? Um. Lock, but there's no voice. So these are where all the people of Mount Fulman who survived. Right, let's go. <coughs> Damn, the NPC details are Not a kid looks like him, are you? <laughs> I believe you are here for Magistrate Jin Shi. The Magistrate left Hong Zhen about 15 oh, minutes ago. Oh, she just passed. She should be at the Truth Seekers minutes. Pass now. That's what they call it in Hong Zhen. You might know it better as the ruins of a Court of Savante facility. Lady Xin Yi, please elaborate. Oh. Oh, that's the skill. Madam Magistrate, are you? I'm fine. How's the situation? Have we evacuated all the civilians? Yes. Remaining civilians have been counted and escorted to safety. Good. These hidden chambers should provide some much-needed shelter for them to rest a little. Despite being the Sentinel's appointed resonator, I haven't been able to sense its presence for some time now. I can feel my resonance ability waning, and I get my power from the Sentinel. This can only mean one thing. The Sentinel's condition is getting worse. Lady Xin Yi, I need to know where the Sentinel was last seen. I can only fix the temporal disruption within a confined radius. It's already pushing my limits to keep this small pocket of space secure. Okay. Mount Firmament is in serious trouble, and we can't waste any more time. 
We need our Sentinel to stabilize the time flow. The Sentinel was last seen flying towards Mianlin Chamber, where it would normally rest. The Fraxidus likely swarmed it soon after, but little did they know. We had a defense system in place, built with the help of the Court of Savante. It was reactivated as soon as our Sentinel made it back inside. This mechanism has allowed us to locate their troops. Okay. And we've already eliminated some of them outside the Mianlun Chamber. To get inside Mianlun Chamber, we have to find the cipher key in so Truth she's Seeker's Pass key, and unseal it with the Keyforge. Understood. Yep. I will go bring back the cipher key. You are injured. Please, rest and leave it to me. The Fraxidus will most likely attack this place once I leave. You must stay here and guard it. I implore you, Shinyi. Help me keep our people safe. Yes, I will, Madam Magistrate. Before I headed to Mount Firmament, the Fraxidus revealed a prophecy from our Sentinel. A fateful clash between the Sentinel and myself that would shape the fate of our city. I never intended to believe their baseless claims, but I was not surprised to hear it. The Sentinel had told me long ago that there would come a day when I surpass it in power. A day when the humans of Jinjo take control of their own destiny. Once we save the Sentinel from danger, I intend to have a serious conversation with it about this prophecy. Basically saying we will fight. And then she left. Jue. There's still one thing that doesn't add up. Yeah, how? Did how did that? the Fraxidus kidnap our Sentinel? The Mianlong Chamber was once renovated by the court of Savante. Do you think their research could be involved somehow? I'll look into what you said. But once we have the cipher key, the Mianlun chamber will be left vulnerable to the Fraxidus' potential retaliation. We must keep them at bay. Rover and I are headed to the Truth Seekers Pass to meet up with Jin Shi. We'll distract the Fraxidus' main forces, giving you an opportunity to stage your ambush. And the locals will handle the rest. I will send some men to open up the side exit for you. Head south and keep walking a couple of minutes, and you will see the Truth Seekers pass downstream. Thank you, Lady Xinyi. Please, leave it to us. In this place she was born, and in this place she returns. Our Magistrate's fate is bound to Mount Firmament. Right. <coughs> Head to the true seekers pass. Here? Oh, this is below. Did Xin Yi and Jin Shi know each other? Jin Shi was chosen as a baby for her resonance ability and raised in City Hall to become the Sentinel's appointed resonator. All the government workers there helped care for and teach her at some point. Inclu oh, that's a lead device? The lead device can be used while you transform to family. Okay. Wow, she grew up that's with a immense responsibilities, forced to suppress her true nature from a young age. Thinking back, and she was only a teenage girl when she became the magistrate. She yeah. has been burdened with unimaginable weight that most cannot fathom. Is this the place? I assume this is the Truth Seeker's Pass Xing Yi mentioned. Yes. This should be another Chronos Order. It should work in similar ways with the one we saw near the Luminous Shore. The entrance is built on that cliff, and it's so been we need to reverse locked. Something? We will need to break the three photon vaults with ranged oh, attacks again. first. Fine. Hmm. Nothing. I was wondering, how 
did the court of Savante create such an advanced mechanism using the Sentinel's power? Mortals aren't supposed to be able to comprehend. I've never heard of any human civilization having the ability yeah. to manipulate time. Unless it wasn't by humans. Unless yeah. the Sentinel okay. willingly taught Not them. Though. We need to focus on items related to the court of Savante in Truthseeker's Pass. <clears throat> so first we need to disable the photon bag. Well we need the investigate. One of the photon vaults always ends up blocked oh, yeah. off. We can't seem to break three of them at once. Perhaps we'll need to use the Chronos Order. Great inside. Yeah, where's the third one? Oh, we need to use this first. I see. So I think. Uh, left. Oh, these three. Okay, I understand now. Mm. Then we do these two and then switch to the other side. One of the photon vaults always. Oh, what? Good. Did you see the tacitite fulminate on that cliff? Perhaps we can create an opening in this disc with an explosion. Discs opening at the photon vault in the middle. <laughs> it's already this huh? Are we going to aim the discs opening at the photon vault in the middle? So we need to make it. Ah, okay, now I get it. It worked. The opening fits right onto the middle photon vault. I thought it just started. Rover, now we can hit open. the three photon vaults simultaneously. Okay. Okay, now it makes sense. <coughs> I didn't understand why, why we opened the it. I thought we hit the thing. Let's go in. Okay, switch back. Discords here. No, were these monsters? 
they don't look like the usual tacit discords. These also look like the works of the court of Savante. Did they create these holograms to protect this place? It seems to have unlocked after we got rid of those holograms. Let's go and have a look. Flare class and flare what? The glowing patterns on that gate. It's a flare crest. Yes. The flare crests have a complex structure, but they can be deciphered with patience. See how each star represents a flare stone? That mechanism we accidentally solved earlier should be one of them. So we need to find two more. Yes. We okay. still need the other two flare stones to open. Wait. The blood and scales here. It's Jinshi. She is likely teetering on the edge of overclocking now. That's not great. We are running out of time. Let me see the map for one. Oh shit, okay. We have underground areas now. situation is worse than we thought. It had already sustained severe injuries when it descended upon Mount Furman. With one of the temporal programs lost, it no longer had the power to restore time. Instead, it could only stop and rewind it. So the Sentinel protected Hongjin with its power, but it couldn't return things back to normal. It would seem so. According to their theories, the Sentinel's injury would worsen over time. And if the Sentinel perishes, <coughs> that's not good. the temporal disruptions <coughs> will spiral out of control, engulfing all. <sighs> so stopping this slowing so down the time Fraxidus thing wasn't just a good added idea. a pinch of hmm. salt to the already gaping wounds on Mount Firmament. There's nothing we can do. Salt. At that. least that's what it says in these records. Only the Mianlong Chamber can provide temporary relief for the Sentinel, but it won't heal it completely. In the end, the Sentinel and a peculiar visitor who was immune to time disruptions would have to come up with a last resort. 
The Sentinel couldn't be fixed, so they decided to replicate its power and onto a resonator seen. through induced resonance. Their experiments resulted in the first Chromos Order, a man-made resonance object. No. A Chronos Order can only rewind time within a narrow range. It's no match for the Sentinel's immense power. We are getting closer and closer to the truth. Two more Flare Stones left. Everything aside, first we must find Jinshi. There's another bell. Damn it, why is it not there? I did not get that. Are you serious? Sheesh. They really want me to use gun characters, huh? Oh, that's the ice uh, tank pack. Can we get a, a call back? Yes, we got one. Nice. And this one. Stone should be behind this gate. Let's restore. Uh, what's this? I guess that's for the climb bank challenge or something. See what distance. <coughs> okay, we have a clap back challenge. Let's see. To break a horizontal hmm. iceberg. So it turned you into a clan bang. <laughs> Please use the leap device to eject yourself and crash through that ice wall. That ice wall? Okay. Oh, that's cool. Okay. This is. So. We go here. Right? One, two, three. Oh, there's another one. Oh, wait, the third one is here. Give it a try. Hold on, what's this? Mm. 
Oh, we're back there. Mm -hmm. The stone slates have formed a path. Now we can bring the tacitite fulminate across the water. I'm a little confused here. Hold on. It means here. Oh, here. Ah. Where do we store this? Why do we need that? <laughs> or maybe we don't need this now. Those first. Okay, I'm the temporary borrowing. Make this quick. I have experiments underway. <laughs> so I don't have to switch so much. <gasps> there is still another photon vault to break. Hmm, we can't reach it from here. We may need to look around for a better vantage point. So basically that's wrong. <laughs> Oh. Oh, okay, I get it. I didn't see that. <coughs> that it. So we're supposed to go this way. This hidden area may allow us to reach that photon vault. You know what? Unless we need healing, I'll, I'll use one of The carrier lift seems stuck. That's why. Disorders are artificial resonance objects. They activate when hit with a strong impact, 
to create the corresponding resonance effect. And this also answers my previous question. The Chronos Orders rewind time through resonating with the Sentinel. No, it was nowhere near enough. The Chronos Orders shut down once they are removed from the Sentinel's range, or the abnormal time flow on Mount Firmament. Plus, as artificial resonance objects, their capacity is limited. According to the Court of Savante researchers, there was a hypothesis that could potentially make them more powerful. The Second Resonance Awakening Hypothesis, which states the collision between two resonating frequencies might cause a Second Resonance Awakening. Yes, that fight has to happen to trigger a Second Resonance Awakening for Jinshi. So she may exert oh. even stronger resonance abilities. <clears throat> ones that allow her to restore the flow of time. Countless Chronos Orders were made to collide with the Sentinel's frequencies. But they were no match. All the machines turned to dust. One Chronos Order briefly showed the power to restore time before breaking apart. This proved that a second awakening can indeed improve resonance ability. The research log mentioned that all Chronos Orders were working in an overdrive mode. It's similar to how human resonators experience overclocking, they wrote. Overclocking happens when a resonator this be, overexerts been a long time their ability. Ago. <laughs> now when you're asking what's overclocking? this researcher who wrote this over suggests that it might be the key to triggering a second awakening. No, it's not. Exhausting yeah. oneself will only result in destruction. In addition, I noticed another <coughs> detail in these records. The Chronos Orders required manual control, while the Sentinel, Jue, appeared to be under someone else's command. In the only incident of success, just as the Chronos Order was about to break down, that peculiar visitor gave an order to the Sentinel. Peculiar visitor is... Us, huh? And the Sentinel successfully transferred some kind of energy to the Chronos Order thanks to that order. Disruption can't hurt him. I. <coughs> but Cheng Li, you're. Shh. I gave my word to be your palm, and I intend to keep it. As your teacher and courtier, it is only right for me to do so. And let's not forget, without me playing the wayfinder for Rover, we wouldn't even have him here. Rover has a strong connection to this place. You need his help to resolve Mount Firmament's crisis. But we already owe Rover a lot. Thank you, Rover. Thank you. Rover... I will do everything I can to rescue the Sentinel as soon as possible. And we can finally talk to it in person. It will surely have the answers you want. Let's cut to the chase. What did you find in Truthseeker's past, Jinchi? According 
according to the court of Cervantes' records, the Sentinel was already injured upon its arrival at Mount Firmament. As time passed and its condition worsened, the flow of time became unstable here, causing temporal disruptions that could potentially threaten Jinjo. Only the Sentinel's appointed resonator can restore its temporal mandate. Their records indicate a solution. To reverse the rapid aging effect from temporal disruptions, I must deliberately collide with the Sentinel's resonance power during combat, triggering my second resonance awakening. That will enhance my power beyond its limits. Let's say you can achieve all that, but Jinshi, do you understand what is at stake for yourself? I understand. I share a resonance connection with Jue, but I never took the time to truly get to know it. I've been blind to its suffering for so long. Sentinel Jue has been guiding us since the city's founding with its wise words and well-crafted decisions. The temporal disruptions we face are just a side effect of its efforts to protect local people. Without the Sentinel blocking out tacit discords through its time manipulation power, Jinjo would be a barren wasteland today. So what do you plan to do, Jinshi? If the Sentinel's condition is indeed incurable, nobody knows how far the temporal disruptions will continue to spread. Today it's Mount Firmament, but tomorrow it could be all of Jinjo. I... I will. If it truly comes down to that, I'll fulfill Jue's prophecy myself. It's the only way to save Mount Firmament, protect Jinjo, and help the Sentinel. Have you thought about That's the not... consequences, Jinshi? Trying to trigger a second awakening by fighting the Sentinel, it could make you overclock at any moment. We both know what that means. You could lose your mind forever, or even disintegrate into dust. You don't want to end up like those Chronosorters, shredded under immense pressure. On top of that, do you honestly believe you can fight in your current condition? I can see right through your facade, Jinshi. You're essentially committing suicide at this point. You're one to talk, my teacher. <sighs> I learn from the best. When have you ever backed down from risking your life for what you believe in? Oh? I don't remember ever teaching you that. We all die eventually, but we need to stay alive as long as we can to achieve more. Jinshi, you must live and inherit the Sentinel's power. Then you can save and protect these people for years to come. Cheng Li, I... Jinshi, I don't intend to stop you. I know you've made up your mind. That's why I brought Rover here. You may have already guessed it. Rover is indeed the hero who fought by our Sentinel's side during Jinjo's early days. He is also the mysterious visitor spoken of in tales about Mount Firmament. All evidence we've gathered points to this being true. If anyone can help us with the situation at Mount Firmament, it must be Rover. Thank you, my teacher. Jinshi will keep your words in mind. Lastly, we still don't know for sure how the Fraxidus is keeping our Sentinel trapped. This will determine if you can actually <coughs> meet it face to face. Maybe they are just really strong. They might be using the Scholar Cervantes mechanisms. Maybe they manipulated the weakness. I think this one. It could be any of these scenarios. 
Lady Xing Yi is already on the case. You should get an answer soon. The cipher key should be inside the stone chamber behind its entrance gate. There is one more flare stone to work out. Let's get moving. Can we use GC at this? I don't think so. Yep. No, no GC, no Chang Li. Yet. Unless I can wish for it now. <laughs> Another bell, yeah, this is the bell. Target on those floating floor tiles. We need a way to restore them. It's not working. We may need to follow a specific order. What is this specific order? Two. Three, one, okay, I see it. Yep, <laughs> that was it. It worked. Thanks to those things being there. The court of Savante set many traps here. We must have worked hard to protect Mian Long Chamber. Oh shit, what? Is this a trap? It's a trap! Watch out! Actually, wait, 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 wait. hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. <laughs> Not just Jin C. Oh shit, <coughs> okay. I did not expect Chang as well. And we have a spectral rover, okay. He just, oh, that's cool, eh? <laughs> Is that Jue? Summon Jue? It's a Jue echo, okay. Holy shit. All five, holy shit, okay, sure. Trial Chang Li. Blazing Brilliance. That's a weapon. Okay, it's just the Inferno Rider. And Rover, the Spectral Rover. Looming Loss, I do not have that. Okay. This is spectral set. Okay, this is better than mine. Definitely. I wanna see how this works. Oh shit, this is a boss? Oh shit, hold up, hold up, hold up. Ah, I did not read. I wasn't ready. Okay. Oh shit. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Q. I wanna use a Q. Oh, what the? Wait, Chang Li is cool, wait, hold on. Ow, oh, alright, I am fine. One with the sounds. What first? Oh. Yeah. Okay, Chang Li is so cool, hang on. Jing Si is also cool, what the hell? Oh. Oh, 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 that's not even the ultimate. What? <laughs> okay, I did not expect that. You get to use both of them at once. I thought we just used the trial of them the whole time, that would be great. Oh wow. So that was the last one. I'm 
I'm done with all three flare stones. Oh. Good. Let's head back to the entrance. We should be able to access the cipher key now. Okay. That was something. Shit, okay, we're sliding down. Cipher key. I'm leaving the rest to you and Jinji. Please don't forget, I am your wayfinder. I journeyed with you into the mountains to ensure you meet up with Jinji. From this point onward, I will be counting on you both to go and confront the Sentinel. This is all I can do for you. Aww. I'm here to guide, not intervene. The path is yours to choose. Not to mention, the Fraxidus has been pestering us non-stop. You'll need someone to keep them at bay. Yes, they've been constantly watching you. Interested in your every move. They can never seem to take their eyes off of you. By all means, please carry on without me. As for myself, I have a more fitting location to make my contributions from. Oh. oh, speak of the devils. I did hear. What's this? Yep, of course they are here. How rude. This is not how we greet people here. Allow me to demonstrate the proper etiquette. Oh boy. <laughs> hmm. What the? Oh, what? <laughs> what was that TV?
scared. All right, then. Chung Wei. Those artificers are nothing to worry about. Don't worry. Chen Li has her plans. Okay. I don't believe we will run into more ambushes on the way. Wait, wait how did you get there? <laughs> oh, I see a lot of monsters, but I don't want to take too much time. <laughs> <coughs> Time walking. Okay. We're going here. It's Madam Magistrate. She's back. I must go tell Lady Xin Yi. Go first. <laughs> The Mianlun chamber is open now. You can proceed inside. Before you go, there's something important I need to tell you. Chang Li was right. They used oh, the report correct. of Cervantes' research to trap our yeah, sentinel using in its well, resting my guess chamber. <laughs> They use the chrono sorters. Oh, they use the... Our captured yeah. artificer revealed that the Fraxidas sent a death squad to invade Mount Firmament. They had a twofold plan. First, to place the chrono sorter in the Mianlun chamber while it was still operational. And second, to lure the Sentinel back to Mount Firmament. Although their death squad was no match for the Sentinel, by forcing its hand, the powerful resonance ability of the Sentinel would clash with the energy of the Chrono Sorter. This would ultimately cause harm to itself. <clears throat> what if the work? Fraxidus modified those Chrono Sorters? A whole bunch of them, pushed to their limits, all working together to deliver one massive blow. But not even that was enough to take down the Sentinel. After the first hit, they set up modified flare crests in the Mianlun chamber to form a special force field along with those chrono sorters. It prevented the Sentinel from replenishing energy and eventually restricted its movement and perception. So, we must free the Sentinel from that force field first. It would be a task more complicated than it sounds. The people of Hongzhen have lived with the Sentinel for generations. We can usually tell if it's in good shape or not. But now, the Fraxidus want to capture the Sentinel. They won't just stop at Mount Firmament. Madam Magistrate, 
I'm sure you didn't come here just for the Sentinel. Please tell us what you know, Mother Magistrate. Yes. I will tell you everything. So the Sentinel is actually injured. And it's been getting worse. The Fraxodus attacked while it hasn't healed yet. Their plans are devious as always. Madam Magistrate, you've already laid out this plan so far. It's always a challenge to decipher the Sentinel's intentions. But there were many theories about it in City Hall at the time. I couldn't fathom why it went through such great lengths <clears throat> to retrieve you from Mount Firmament and raise you within our walls. But now that I reflect on it, perhaps the Sentinel saw in you the potential to one day restore the temporal program and ensure the survival of Jinjo's inhabitants. I just never thought you'd be willing to follow through with that prophecy. It was here on this very mountain that I first encountered the Sentinel. Back then I was too young to remember anything. Even the image of Mount Firmament has slipped from my mind. But this time, as soon as I stood at the base of Mount Firmament, I felt a wave of recognition wash over me. Memories long buried resurfaced with sudden clarity. Lady Xinyi, I was born with my life, my everything connected to our Sentinel. But my duty as its appointed resonator is not the only reason for my decision. I'm following the heart of my younger self before I became Jinshi. The girl who used to laugh with pure joy as she felt the snow from Mount Firmament on her face. I'm a seed born on Mount Firmament, carried by the wind to every oh, corner of Jinjo. But now, I've returned to my place of origin. It's time for me to take root and grow into something greater. <sighs> no matter what happens or what choices you make, please remember, the people of Hongzhen will always have your back. Mount Firmament has been stagnant for eternity. Perhaps a sudden crack of lightning is what we need to break through the fog of uncertainty that has lingered over us for far too long. Once you pass through Hongzhen, keep your eyes open for a cave on the northern cliff. That will lead you to a shortcut towards Mianlun Chamber. The place is directly under Mount Firmament's iconic loom-shaped cliff. I wish you two the best of luck. All right then. Oh, this is the waterfall. So far, everything we know about the Sentinel is still just speculation. You were right. But my weakening resonance ability and my connection to the Sentinel leave me no choice but to explore these theories. Whether it's fact or fiction, truth or a lie, I have to confront the Sentinel and see for myself. deep in the cave. Let's go. We're gonna 
skip all the enemies so I can finish this quick. Unless the enemies are right in front of me. Like this one. My field of expertise. Oh right, I'm not using the Okay. An unexpected discovery. Uh the echo disappeared. I think we got it. Another way. Um, very bad at dodging. One with the sounds. You will obey. Oh, no, no, we're not. Ten yet. Yeah. There we go. Huh. Endure and defy. There's more. One with the sounds. Nowhere to hide. As you wish. There we go. Better than nothing. Alright, I need to switch to Verena. Without Verena, this is what we Hopefully, we'll make new findings. <laughs> Yeah, I saw that. It's nature's gift. Let's keep it well. <laughs> Going against wind. I'm pretty sure the boss will be a uh, trial character we use again, like just now, maybe. Because we're gonna use GC again, probably. <coughs> I don't know. We should now help the sentinel break free from the flare crest spines. Chronos orders nearby may have frozen this body of water and time. Or it could have been caused by the temporal disruptions here. Either way, we can use it to our advantage. We can walk over the water now. Okay. We are too far away to see what's going on inside. Let's go. I still need more information to determine what we should do next. We have to go there. We can walk on the water though. We can forget about the enemies for now. We don't need to walk on the water. <laughs> I mean, we can just buy them. Alright. Feel the sentinel's presence inside, but it's not responding. So, Jewess in here.
Oh shit. Okay, it's sealed. So we need to open it up again. But he is behind this place. The flare crest. Oh, here we go again. The sentinel is telling us. We need to find the three flare stones corresponding to the flare crest. Then we will be able to lift the confinement set by the Fraxidus. But I'm not seeing any flare stones. Or any kind of entrance to another chamber. There seems to be something underwater. Let's start with the chrono sorter here. Uh okay, that makes sense. There, there's two of them down there. There's three. I need to shoot it again. Uh, God damn it. <coughs> the water level has dropped. It's the flare stone. On that rock. Let's go retrieve it. Um, can I heal my cactus first? With Verena? Before I do this. Okay, so one, two, three is behind. Activate the flare stone to put up the flare first. So that we can walk there. Huh. Done. Two oh, more to go. Okay. Let's look for them nearby. Interesting. to bring it down again or maybe you bring it up again huh no I don't think there's anything I have to find how to open this thing. I think it's open. Maybe, Maybe it is. Okay, then I'll switch. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't know. There's another one here, so. Oh. Okay. with the promoter's help. Same as last time. Let's defeat the photon vault first. Okay. So wait, there's more of these things? Oh, what the hell? There's more? One with the seconds. Vault 
is hidden behind the fissured ledge. Fissured ledge. If only there was a tacitite fulminate. Let's look around. Jinjo was under siege. A mother and her newborn child were hiding in ruins, trying to avoid the deadly creatures. <coughs> they weren't safe for long, as the tacit discord found them. The mother sacrificed herself to protect her child. With her gone, it was difficult for the newborn to survive. In a couple of minutes, its loud cries gradually died out. Fortunately, the newborn's cries echoed through the forest with a unique resonance that reached the ears of the mighty sentinel. With a burst of energy, our sentinel dispelled the surrounding evils. But sadly, it was too late. That night, Mount Firmament shook with the roars of a lone, and dark clouds gathered. The sentinel returned with a dead infant in its embrace. As if by magic, somber clouds parted and shooting stars lit up the sky with Mount Firmament's unique flow of time. Wait, what? The sentinel brought the deceased infant back to life. So the, the, the child resurrected died. infant became known but as the sentinel's appointed resonator and went on to become the magistrate of Jinjo. Oh. So she already died, but was brought back to life by using the time Power. Yes, it's me. I've Dang. lived in Jinjo my whole life and never ventured into Hongjen. That's why she, that's why the. And even I know of the legend. Her because. To me, Jue is more than just our sentinel. Or a revered divine being. It raised me and saved me from certain death. I've been thinking about it on our way here. If the Sentinel predicted our fight, why would it even bother saving me in the first place? Now I understand why. Because I am the Sentinel's resonator. I may not have any extraordinary abilities, 
But I do possess the temporal program that it accidentally lost. If Jinju ever faces a similar time crisis, I... I might be the only one who can set things right. In our Sentinel's prediction, the battle between us is supposed to happen in the distant future. It had been waiting for an opportunity, a right moment to tell me the truth. That's why it didn't explain. Now may not be the opportunity the Sentinel has been waiting for. My body cannot hold up much longer. I have to go and face it while I still can. To learn about the truth, or complete our destined battle. Give up my duty? I never thought about it. <clears throat> to be honest, I did doubt myself many times. It was the endless kindness of you, Chung Li, Xing Yi, and everyone in Jinzhou that gave me the courage to push on. Even Jue's decision to bring me back to life. Whether out of pity or not, I am truly grateful. The thought of it warms my heart every time. Jinzhou holds everything that's dear to me. Even without the title of Magistrate, I could never leave Jinjo behind. I'm okay. The pain I'm feeling is nothing compared to those trapped in the temporal disruptions. I must find the Sentinel as soon as possible. We draw from the same source of power. Saving it means saving myself. If there is truly no other option in the end, then I will have to fight it. I refuse to back down. I will fight. To protect the Sentinel and to defend Jin Jo. One life may be lost, but many will be saved. If it means keeping everyone safe, then I have no regrets giving my own life. But let me make one thing clear. I am not planning on dying yet. I am here to fight for a chance at survival, no matter how slim that chance may be. We're not in a situation where death is our only option, are we? Thank you for placing your trust in me. Come to think of it, many good things have happened to me since you arrived in Jinzhou. Thank you, Rover. Teacher Chung Li told me it's up to both of us to solve the crisis at Mount Firmament. As I know you have a special connection with our Sentinel, I need your support in this decision. But don't worry, I'm prepared. This isn't about succumbing to destiny, it's about embracing it fully. I am grateful to have you by my side through it all.
Flare stone to go. That was one of the first things to help. And we need this. What? Or the no one that we couldn't break. Um, this is gonna be a fight, so yeah. Oh man, I can't switch to Verena. Let's do this another way. Oh wait, I'm using the wrong team. I have Verena, but this is not the right team. <laughs> Uh, that's not good. Alright then. Time to use Encore. Alright, not so good Encore, damn it. Fury boils! Burn to ashes! Here comes up! No one picks on Encore's friends! Ah! Leave 
should be able to break free now. Yes. Uh, I believe so. And this is gonna Let's be a boss. Let's head back to the Sentinel's place. Here we go. It has been quite some time. An agent's Lord Arbiter. Arbiter? Or should one address you as Bover now? Hmm. Okay. One cannot discern the cause of your arrival. Yet its significance holds Jinjo's fateful juncture. Shall a child who has lost their memories take up arms and fight for their fate? Or shall they retreat to their cradle and slumber? The seed of the future shall be sown in this very the future. Once the situation settles, an explanation shall be provided. For now, one must implore you to simply engage, decide, and observe. Okay. And... Kimchi, your journey has been an arduous one. Aside from aiding one in this predicament, surely there are other inquiries you wish to make. I cannot bring myself to ask for more. All I seek is the truth. Mount Firmament is in grave danger. Regarding the temporal mandate and your injuries, please do not keep the truth from me any longer. One understands your concerns. The timing may not be optimal for this disclosure, yet in the midst of crisis, one must act with expedience. For one will soon perish. <sighs> one such as this, of immortal nature, is designed to endure for all time. Yet one suffered severe harm in ancient times, and now relies on the Myanlong Chamber for survival. This is not the optimal solution. For a long time, one has had to use this chamber to replenish energy, hoping to delay the inevitable doom. Yet fate cannot be defied. The Fraxidus have conspired against this one. Now, the injury only worsens. The Myanlong Chamber can no longer prolong one's life. Then what will happen to Jinzo? Jinjo. The city of Jinjo will be no more. Oh, shit. <sighs> Ever 
since one descended upon Mount Firmament, using the power of temporal mandate to repel tacit discords, time has been in disarray within this location. The fate of Jinjo was sealed from that moment on. Over the past millennia, one has defied the laws of nature and sustained Jinjo at the cost of one's own life force. Otherwise, the temporal disruption would wreak havoc not only on Mount Permanent, but on the entire region of Jinjo. If this were to happen, all life will be engulfed in a chaotic storm of twisted time flow. Jinjo shall forever remain frozen in time. Yikes. The past and the future melt into one, rendering life indistinguishable from death. The ceremonial rituals and endless battles persist intertwining joy and sorrow into an eternal blur. All inhabitants of Jinjo shall endure this perpetual fate until time itself ceases to exist. It is this one's own doing, and one must put an end to it. In the coming days, one will exert every ounce of strength to freeze the time in Jinjo at the cost of one's remaining life. In that moment, Jinjo will fall into stillness, but not perish. What? In the distant future, <clears throat> the people of Wanglong may discover a method to rescue Jinjo. So, uh, to not destroy... Jinzo just freeze Jinzo to not <laughs> to be stillness. That's the method people. Is there truly nothing else we can do? This is not the optimal solution, but it suffices as an option. Please forgive me, but I cannot do as you say. A decade, a century. What if nobody comes up with a solution? By that time, the world will have turned its back on this forgotten city. And who would be willing to spend precious resources rescuing a small city in a far-off corner of the world? Jinjo's fate deserves better than an uncertain future. Whilst one may not live to witness the future, one can still envision endless possibilities yet to come. In my deduction, okay. this method proves to be the most effective no other way. and stable. Magistrate Jinji, as you express doubts, pray tell how do you propose to solve this issue? The flow of time upon Mount Firmament is in disarray, and it can only be contained through one's utmost effort. If one does not freeze the time now, the situation in Jinjo shall surely worsen a hundredfold, or even a thousandfold, after one's passing. Unless you entrust it all to her to handle it. predicted a destined battle between us. Is it true? Is it now? Correct. I was lost at first, struggling to grasp the prophecy's meaning. Only when I learned of your actions alongside the court of Savante did it all become clear. By clashing two resonating powers, a second resonance awakening can be induced. Through this, I am able to push my resonance ability beyond its limits 
and invoke the temporal mandate to restore the flow of time. Though I will be forced to raise my blade against you. Ridiculous! If you clash with my resonance power, yeah. even the smallest mistake will result in overclocking and leave you nothing but an empty husk. You are well aware of its excruciating effects. The pain you feel now is but a faint scratch in comparison to its true torment. Moreover, you will be trapped within the fissures of time itself. Your being will be relentlessly shredded and mended day after day, denied any respite for eternity. But I can restore the errors in the flow of time. Isn't that why you saved me all those years ago? I'm just doing what you've been doing all along. Going against fate to keep Jinjo safe. Jinshi, you are given one last opportunity. Let me freeze the time, and I can ensure your safety. Abilities depletion when she is teetering on the brink of overclocking and near death. Then we may still save her life. Miss that moment by even the slightest margin, and Jinshi's fate will be sealed. of Jinjo for myself. You rewinded time to save me. I am responsible. Jinjo is my home. If it's ever in danger, I will do everything in my power to protect what I hold dear. Even at the cost of my own life. Such a valiant speech. Do you know the weight of this decision? I understand your concerns. I will reach my second awakening with our destined confrontation and restore the time flow. Are you willing to bet on me? Restore the time flow? Pray, from where does this confidence arise? You are my resonator, but your strength is only a fraction of mine. There is little chance for you to retreat unscathed. But I can at least win some hope for our people. Even if it costs me my soul, my everything, I cannot die without trying. I may only bear your power for a fleeting moment. It's all I need to secure a better future for Jin Jo, defying all of your predictions, and I can keep you safe. If there is anyone who can face you in a fight, 
That person has to be your resonator. I will be your final winning move in this game. Are you truly ready to challenge a being worshipped by your kind? Will you not regret it when you meet your bitter demise? I will not regret it, no matter what. Very well, Magistrate of Jinjo. Come to the summit. Demonstrate your promise. Show me how you shall be my triumphant ace. Let's go. about your choice this time. Wherever the tides may take us, you will bear witness to our fight. be guided by virtue. Chi, do you keep this in mind? Yes. Virtue must come first. Politics, commerce, it all must serve the people. From now on, you shall be known as Jinshi, bearing Jinja's name as your own. What do you think of this world? Like, here. Darkness. But lights flicker in the gloom. A guiding light is it. Is it? <laughs> That's why they stand out so brightly against the darkness. Oh my. How will this work? <coughs> How will this fight work? Entrance leads to one Sonoro Sphere. Magistrate Jinchi, one shall await you there. Rover, this battle is related to the fate of Jinjo, and only you can open this Sonoro Sphere. The key to Jinjo's future Don't forget, we have happy with this. lies in your hands. All this time. If I open it, Jinshi is bound to face you in the ultimate battle. The ideal outcome would be for her to absorb your power at the critical moment and restore the time flow without any loss of life. But there's a chance that she could push herself too far and end up dying from overclocking. Though, if I do nothing, you'll use your remaining power to freeze all of Jinjo. In time. Hurry. Right. Now, please let us know your choice. Rover. Come on. Yeah, there'll be no turning back. I have been preparing for this moment. Leaving Jinjo behind fills me with regret. Knowing I may never again bask in its glorious sunshine. Or witness the purity of its snowflakes. But that's why I'm here. To ensure that others can still experience the wonders of nature. Our city has a rich history. With generations witnessing endless sunrises and sunsets at the border. Our people have sacrificed their blood and tears to protect Huanglong's safety. 
They deserve a bright future. I want to protect Jinjo in my own way. As Jinshi. As a citizen of Jinjo. And as Jinjo's magistrate. Let's begin. Alright. Here we go. Sonora Spear Center actually. Oh shit, here we go. How will this battle work? I'm using her. Use the grapple to a rapid near country, okay. Oh shit, instant. Okay. Back to full health. I mean, um, two ways back to full health. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. One more. There you go. Now. Oh. Oh, so much for level hundred. Damn, one skill is like that. Oh, whoa, 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 hold up. Where are you? What the... Whoa, 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 hold up. Yeah, it's like this. to become a candle of light but I still want to try I want to see if I can ignite a spark of this hope for Jinjo 
Oh shit, what? Ah! Really? Really? Double mouse. Oh my gosh! I'm stabbing! Ah! <laughs> Holy shit! And now? Oh shit! Okay, so if that's the G uh, the Jue boss fight, holy shit, that was cool. How will we fight this again? Onwards. Wait. I didn't really use the, the properly. Let me just use the one more time. Our lights shine through. <laughs> okay, so that's, that's actually a normal... Alright. Uh, this is a level 90 GC. Holy shit. <laughs> Doesn't really matter what our level is. Okay. Jin Shi has recovered. One will soon send her back to Jinjo for recuperation. Please do not worry. What about Jue? What will happen to you? With all matters resolved. As per the agreement, it is time for one to address you. 
One is prepared to answer any okay. inquiries you may have. I am Jue the Sentinel, the guide of Jinjo's civilization. Everything about Jinjo has been stored in my mind. You are my arbiter. Former master. And my former master. What? In bygone days, I stood by your side as you established Jinjo City. You tasked me with safeguarding its prosperity. So why did I lose her? This one begs your pardon, for it is not all knowing. Okay. All my knowledge came from you. Damn, okay. One is prepared to answer any inquiries you may have. In the past, one was granted the key to that Sonoro Sphere by your hand. You said you planned to participate in history, to make choices and witness the development of civilization. One had previously requested for permission to transfer the temporal mandate to Jinshi, as that is how one is designed to function. Every ounce of my existence, from life to death, and even the passing on of power, is subject to your approval. Key. One is prepared to answer any inquiries you since Jin Shi has inherited my power, the temporal programs are now complete. Jin Zhou is no longer under threat. Jin Shi has fully assumed the mantle of leadership. From this day forth, one shall only offer aid when it is truly needed. This situation has been analyzed before, but the number of variables made reaching a safe conclusion impossible. To accomplish a goal, Jinshi must possess both strength and confidence. Revealing the truth to her earlier would only add to her troubles and not aid in improving her abilities. Today was not the ideal moment for our destined battle to unfold. Oh. But the Fraxidus has remarkably escalated its arrival. One is prepared to Our answer the flow of time when Mount Firmament has been restored to its natural pace. But the citizens of Hongzhen must still contend with shortened lifespans oh, still should they attempt to depart. Because they have been frozen in time. Fortunately, with Jin Shi's resonance ability, they can stay safe as long as they remain on the mountain. For lack of a better solution, this is the best we can do. Through countless ages, the imposing Mount Firmament stood firm against the storms. But as spring brings thunder and change, one feels a spark of transformation in the air. The people of Hongzhen have a bright future ahead. One that can be steered in the right direction Within mere days, with proper leadership, one is prepared okay. to answer. Your tacit mark. There is something unusual. Heavy. Is it you, big thing? Huh? Now 
How dare you? I'm gonna teach you a le- <sighs> hmm? Wait, pause. I don't think it has any bad intentions. It smells like the unnatural smell I smelled in Jinjo before. Oh, so you must be that sentinel. <laughs> Hello there, big one. Rover, why didn't you wake me up earlier? I got a feeling <laughs> I missed out on a lot of fun. It does feel similar to me, but there is some difference. This entity is unfamiliar. Okay, Jewel doesn't know. As it resides within your tacit mark, one can only assume you granted it access intentionally. Maybe you can ask other sentinels? Lord Arbiter. Oh Have shit! You heard of the Black Shores? Yes, we're gonna ask them. I mean, we have asked Alto and Alto. The Black Shores is the starting point of your journey in this world. What do you mean the place? If you have doubts, this one suggests a visit to that island. The watering way. <laughs> Game title drop. Oh what? Yo, I did not expect the game. Watering waves to mention. One suggests heading back to Hongzhen to reunite with your companions, Lord Arbiter. Okay. They're not over. Ski down the. That's an optional quest. With Mount Firmament no longer posing a threat, surely Hong Jen will undergo significant changes. Down. Wait, uh, wasn't that a uh... can I can I do that first? Yeah, I always got okay. There we go. So now we're skiing down the mountain. No? What's it? What's this? Okay. Oh shit, let's go. Why this music button? <laughs> You could just... and snow. Then, <coughs> in the midst of it all, stood a white-haired maiden like a goddess descended from the heavens. With a mere wave of her hand, 
She brought forth a new season, transforming the streets below. This neighbor was none other than the dead infant, now reborn as the magistrate of Jinjo. In spring's embrace, the sun shall shine upon this place. For only through death and strife can one truly embrace new. <coughs> oh shit, is that. Uh... Hmm. What's the name for I Lova? Yeah. Okay. Doesn't matter. That's not important for our goal. British. We have the answers we wanted already. With the second resonance awakening, we will tap into powers that rival the sentinels. Complete control of the artificial resonator awakening process is within reach. And lastly, about that rover. This trip was worth it. We've collected many wonderful notes, haven't we? It's about time. Get moving. Can't let a certain someone wait too long behind bars. Oh, scarf. Okay, interesting. Well, <coughs> it was three hours, huh? All right, we have. Uh... I still haven't done the quest. <laughs> we don't have. Uh... So not yet. What's this? A... Oh, okay, it's just more rewards entering the area. Okay. Ooh, that's a lot. Is this an exploration quest? I think. Okay. Alright, I think that's it for now. <laughs> that's it for X7. It feels more like a Jinsi story. <laughs> but it's related to the rover as well, so it makes sense. Uh. Okay. Alright, so that's it for X7. 3 hours. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.